Hello and welcome to Farm Space. We are here at the headquarters of XAG. What is XAG all about? What does this company do? And how did it happen that they are the leaders in drone technology today? And what does the future look like? I'm talking to Justin. He's going to tell me a little bit more about XAG and how they're going to add value to your farm. So let's listen. Justin, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having us here in China. It's, it's really been an awesome experience. Tell me a little bit more about yourself, your role at XIG, and then we can get into XIG and what you guys actually do. Okay. My name is uh, Justin Go. I'm the co-founder of XIG. Um, and XIG is a company dedicated to advanced agriculture. We are basically a drone robots and AI company uh, for agriculture, smart agriculture. Now, how long have you been uh, um, been going, and um, yeah, what what was the idea when you set out on this journey? XAG was founded in two thousand and seven. It's been seventeen years. We seventeen are, years. Yes, in the drone business. So Jeez. we were the very first drone quad rotor or multi rotor drone company in China for civil uh, use. And in two thousand thirteen, we started looking into agriculture, and we found out drone can be used for precision spraying on crops. In 2014, we turned our company from drone company to an agriculture drone company. What was the idea behind that? Why did you make that move? Actually, that year in 2013, I traveled a lot with our end users, um, I mean the drone end users, and we found some of our users are farmers. And they, are, they want to build the drone to spray the chemicals so they can be separate from the chemicals. And also, because it's spray from the air, they don't have you know, uh, crop being crashed. And we thought it's a great idea. So we decided to make the drone for them. In 2014, we divert all the business um, into agriculture. And the, the first time I heard about you was in uh, more or less 2019. Mm -hmm. And um, it became clear that you are really, really serious about making this thing work. Yeah. Um, I think you had the P30 uh, uh, back back then. Mm -hmm. um, actually was able to film one of these things uh, back in South Africa. I had a yeah. good look at it. Yeah. What really impressed me about the drone was we were testing it on sugarcane mm -hmm. and the penetration that we were able to get uh, through the whole canopy. And I was like, geez, there's really something in this, this technology. But since then, I mean, you've, you've come a hell of a long way. Uh, you, this is the, uh, the P100, which is your... P100 Pro. P100 Pro, yeah. uh, the, the current flagship. Just tell me a little bit about the, the, the company philosophy mm -hmm. and uh, what, what is the vision for the future? Actually, we, when we dive into agriculture in 2014, we found out there are a lot of use cases for the drone. And so we start developing crop spraying drones. After five years of development in the drone, um, agriculture drone, plant protection drone, we found out plant protection is only 10% maybe in, in agriculture planting process. And there are so many jobs need to be done. And we are facing, globally, we are facing um, rural labor shortage, rural aging population. We are also um, facing climate change and also some geopolitical problems. So food security and how to attract young people back to the farmland is so important. So we start thinking again, shall we design more tools for the young generation of farmers? Incorporate with the technology of drone, robots, AI, big data, etc to make the agricultural work cool yeah. and fun. So that's why uh, in 2019, XAG become transformed again from a drone, agriculture drone company into agri-tech company. So today we have six product lines, including the ground vehicle, the drone, um, the irrigation system, etc. And But here's the thing. There's a lot of ag techs out there going, around, oh, we want to make agriculture cool again yeah, and yeah, so yeah. forth. Yeah. But there needs to be a fundamental value add. Right. Otherwise, nothing is going to pay for the coolness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how do you bolt in that value add into your products? Because when, when I look at that drone and, and I compare it to other, other drones on the market, 
it's almost like the other drones are like a, let's call it a consumable type mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. This is more of a asset or a tool, like something like a tractor would be on my, yes. on my farm. Yes. Is that part of your philosophy? Or how do you go about when you develop these solutions? Yes. If you remember, we released the P30 into 2018, and that was an award-winning design um, as a drone. But it's not really a tool for a farmer. It looks beautiful, it uses uh, very high-end materials, and it's aerodynamic. But for a farmer, they need, as you said, like a tractor in the air, right? It's a tool, it's an asset for their farm. It has to be there for years and be a very reliable friend. So we actually divers, um, you know, changed our philosophy of designing the drones and the ground vehicles for farmer. And we use the more durable, but also low cost materials. And all, all the maintenance also made to become very easy because all the parts are redesigned. So they can easily uh, replace the parts, cleaning um, the drone. And also most importantly is the control of the drone. Farmers are not pilots. You know, they don't want to spend weeks or months to study how to use joysticks to control the drone. The drone has to be autonomous. Yep. So they can sit in their car with the air conditioning on and watching the drone on their mobile phone while they can just watch the TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the idea. And also we can see from the figure behind our users during the past four years, the um, 50 years plus age farmers using our drone is increasing. In our user groups, we see about 23% of the users are beyond 50 years old. That's, that is impressive. And, but, and talking about size, as I understand it, you are basically the largest agricultural drone manufacturer in China and yes. I, I think in the world. Yes, yes. Um, so you're not a Mickey Mouse company, you're, you're a serious business, am I correct? Yes, yes. In early this year, we were recognized as the national manufacturing champion for agriculture drone by the Ministry of Chinese Information and Industry um, Department. Congratulations on Thank that you. one. Eh? I you. mean, because if you look at all the other tech companies and all of that in, in, uh, um, in China, that's, that's a real good achievement. It's not a concept any, anymore. We've been uh, manufacturing the drone, the agriculture drone for more than 10 years now. And there are more than 140,000 drones up and running every day worldwide. In China, uh, in the busy peak season, we, we know we have about 2 million flights, takeoffs and landings. And this has really helped us to understand the real scenarios of our drones, how they're running um, in the farms and how they have problems and how we can improve them. Would you say that's something that actually makes you a market leader because you get all these data points and you can quickly, um, quickly and easily solve your problems? And what was something that was uh, um, very apparent to me during this conference is the fact that you are a real open company and with all your distributors, you discuss the problems openly. You go like, listen, yeah, here's the thing. We're struggling with this. We're struggling with that. This is what we're doing to fix it and so forth if you've got any issues. Um, does that help your, your R&D time and all of that as well? Yes, we believe um, at XAG, we believe honesty and also transparent is the shortcut. There's no shortcut in the world, but that's yep. the shortcut. We can save a lot of energy, um, you know, bargaining and arguing with each other. We just be honest. So if we have problem, we fix it. And also because we have so many uh, distributors and uh, resellers worldwide um, as a union worldwide, so we can understand what they really need. In China, we are also able to see because we have our own service station in every uh, province, we can collect all the uh, failure figures, problems, data uh, from our end users. And then in the next generation, we can fix that. So you're taking the market by storm now, literally. What does the future look like for XIG? What's the future vision? Where do you want to, uh, this company to be in? I'm not going to say five mm -hmm. years because in agriculture, you need at least a 10 year view. Yes. So yes. in 10 years time, where is XIG? Our vision at XAG is to build new infrastructure for the next 100 years for human being and agriculture. And so we can provide the world with sufficient, diversified and safe food. That's our vision. So in 10 years, 
we will keep developing more and more precision farming tools so the farmers can buy it in a lower cost and easy to use them. And also as a tech company, agriculture technology company, we are also working together with our global partners to build the infrastructure for digital agriculture, like the RTK navigation stations, and also to make sure we have very high definition maps for the farms, for the fields, so um, all, the, all the activity service companies can easily access uh, to the farmers and the farmer can access to the technology. And also, we are working on the agriculture AI uh, crop models and also uh, management platforms. So all the farms can have their digitalized and smart platform to manage their assets and uh, uh, monitor their crops. Last thing is when you look at agriculture in China, it's a lot different from places like America, Europe, yeah. South Africa, for example, in terms of the scale and size, you've got a lot of small farmers. Yes. We've got larger farmers and so forth. I rock up with this thing at a commercial farm and he tells me it's a toy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, but the way that I see it and what I've gathered now in the past few days was that the technology has seriously arrived now in terms of being a competitor to other solutions on a commercial scale. Yes. And I'm guessing you're just going to keep developing that going forward and that the, the large-scale commercial farmers is, is mm -hmm. also one of your targets and not only the small-scale farmers. That's right. Currently, because we're starting from China and Japan, so we were focusing on the smallholders mainly uh, because they, they were not able to access big and efficient machineries before. Uh, but as the technology getting more and more mature and we have more and more uh, scale farms uh, as our customers, we also understand their needs now. And our current drone on the market um, ranging from 50 kilo all the way to 80 kilograms payload. So we are able to now to uh, help the big farms uh, increasing their autonomous and also efficiency as well. And we believe we will keep developing varieties of different scale, uh, scale drones and robots for different sizes of farmers. Okay, that is Justin from XAG. So, if you wondered if um, drones can work in commercial agriculture, I promise you that time has arrived. So, um, if you are interested, link on top or below. I'm here with Nick, by the way. You can get in contact with them and they'll sort you out with the drone. That's it from Farm Space. Till next time. Cheers.